as an athlete, performer, or competitor. Self-criticism, beating yourself up, and focusing too much on mistakes can seriously hinder your ability to perform. And it's one of the major mental blocks. I teach and operate under this principle. Performance equals potential minus interference. Meaning, you will play, compete, or perform your best when you have no interference or mental slash emotional blocks. To be able to clear this particular mental block, the inner critic, it's extremely helpful to understand it first, and then we can take it apart. Now let me explain your solution to this problem using my four-step race formula for mental toughness, which I developed with my experience of working with thousands of athletes and performers over the years because this is the vehicle that will transport you to clearing this block. It's what I use for everything now to help my clients acquire mental toughness. And it starts with R, relentless. That means you must be relentless about your ability and desire to change these automatic thought responses that seemingly are out of your control. They are not. I give you the tools to believe you can change them and to actually do it. You just cannot give up on yourself. And I promise you it will go away. This video starts that process for you right now. A, that stands for awareness. So let's go there on this mental block, the inner critic. It's destructive to your performance. It's a destructive occurrence that originates from a very useful natural function. Your goal striving mechanism. Let's call it your success function. Everybody has this function to some degree and it helps you accomplish things. And it's normally a very helpful and useful mental gift that you have. Now, those that have this function to a high degree, they gotta be really careful. Because when it comes to sports and performing, what happens is this function, it gets corrupted. Just like a virus corrupts computer programs and apps. This mental virus, if you will, it gets into your bio-operating system and then turns your success function against you. It's all automatic once the virus gets inside the system and no matter how much mental willpower you try to come up with to counter it, it always wins. As I'm sure you've noticed. When it's working well, your success function, it pushes you to do your best and work towards identifying and correcting errors and mistakes all along the path to success when it's corrupted, it turns into perfectionism. And this hurts performance. And here's why. It's actually really quite simple. Let me ask you this. Do you perform better when you feel good or when you feel bad? Obvious, right? No mystery there. The virus of perfectionism, it's a misguided belief structure that says, I have to be perfect. So if you have this issue, anytime you aren't perfect or worried about not being perfect, you're going to feel bad, which is not the best state to be in for performing well, right? Nobody can be perfect. So you're caught in this catch 22 of trying to attain something you can never achieve. I'm still surprised that how many people still think that to be a perfectionist is a good thing? It is not. I often teach my clients, instead of being a perfectionist, strive for perfection without being a perfectionist. There's a big difference there. Which brings us to C, clear. You see, I believe there is always a reason why we do everything we do. And there is a reason why we respond and react like we do. And that goes through this perfectionist mind just the same. You have to clear the reason why the success function has turned against you. And here's the kicker. You have to do it at the inner mind programming or the bodily level. You can't just think it up here. 
So to clear any kind of bodily programming, you have to have the, first of all, the right counterthought for you. And then you have to get it from your head down into your body. And how do you do that? Well, I could teach for hours on that, and, and that principle runs through everything I do. It's actually the reason why I have such a high success rate with my clients, but the gist of it is this. The best way to get to your inner mind is to intend to do so and practice doing so. Now, I do this in part for my clients with guided visualizations. To clear the perfectionism virus, you have to come up with your specific counter belief that will dissolve it, and then you have to get it where the programming lives, your bio-operating system, which is your body. Now, the most common counter belief to do that is this. Replace the virus of I have to with I want to. E emotional mastery. This is the final piece for fixing your success function. Believe it or not, your perfectionist mind, it actually does want you to succeed. It thinks that the best way to do that for you is to get you all fired up so as to motivate you toward continued improvement through identifying and correcting mistakes. And it thinks that if it doesn't continually point out your mistakes and remind you of them, then you'll somehow slack off on working to correct them. It's the worst slave master there is because you can never do enough to satisfy it. That's why you have trouble letting go of past mistakes. It's using those mistakes to keep you motivated in a twisted sort of way. This doesn't work so well for performing your best, however, because performing your best happens when you are in the peak performance state. And your state is comprised of two parts. How you're thinking and how you're feeling in your body. Once again, do you perform better when you feel good or when you feel bad? Thoughts lead to emotions, which lead to bodily feelings, which influences performance and actions. If the inner critic or perfectionism perfectionism is your challenge, the race formula is designed to replace the virus with a foundational belief that you will always strive to perform your best because you love doing it. Period. Feel good. Perform good. That's what this is about. I'm going to send you an email tomorrow to pick up where I left off here, give you more tools for all this. Look for it. The race formula always works when you work it. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.